What's up, Roto Ballers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Hill, and today I'm going to be rounding out my series of rankings videos with the top 12 tight ends for 2023 fantasy football drafts. I've already went over our top quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers, so if you haven't seen those videos yet, be sure to check them out. Starting us off at number 12, we have Tyler Higby of the LA Rams. Higby quietly finished as the tight end 9 and half PPR scoring last season. It was an inconsistent and bumpy ride, but the important takeaway is that Higby averaged over 7 targets per game in the 9 in which quarterback Matthew Stafford appeared. Now, with this news of Cooper Cup suffering a, a setback with his hamstring injury, Higby could be in line for even more opportunities as one of the only proven commodities on this Rams offense. At number 11, we have Jawan Johnson of the New Orleans Saints. You might be surprised to learn that Johnson was a top 10 fantasy tight end last season, but seven touchdowns is nothing to scoff at. He'll get a nice quarterback upgrade this year with Derek Carr coming in, and the two have reportedly built a lot of chemistry during training camp, so we really like Johnson's upside in the later rounds of drafts. Kicking off our top 10 is the Cleveland Browns' David Njoku. Njoku was the tight end nine in fantasy points per game last season, and on average, he was the second most targeted player on the Browns. As a former first round pick, the talent has always been there, and he could be on the cusp of a true breakout if Deshaun Watson bounces back this season. At number nine, we have Pat Fryermuth of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fryermuth took a nice jump in year two in all categories except receiving touchdowns, but what can you expect when the Steelers' offense had 12 total through the air? Still, Fryermuth managed to finish as the tight end eight with just two receiving touchdowns, and that's a number that should go up now that Kenny Pickett is looking much improved. On to number eight, we have Evan Ingram of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ingram is fresh off of his best fantasy season since his 2017 rookie campaign, and he became a go-to two weapon for Trevor Lawrence over the second half of last season. Now, he's sure to lose some targets to newcomer Calvin Ridley, but he still feels like a pretty great value on what should be an electric offense. At number seven, we have Kyle Pitts of the Atlanta Falcons. It wasn't fun if you drafted Pitts last season, as he struggled to get anything going with Marcus Mariota, and then he got injured in week 11. The Falcons did, however, start to throw the ball a little bit more when Desmond Ritter took over in week 15, so hopefully that's a trend that continues into 2023. We know the potential for Pitts, he could be one of the best tight ends in the league, and hopefully there's a little bit more consistency in his utilization this season. Number six is gonna be Darren Waller of the New York Giants. He's only played in 20 games over the past two seasons, but he's always been elite when on the field. He looks healthy right now in New York, there's been a ton of buzz about his connection with Daniel Jones throughout training camp, and that was on full display in preseason week two. It's not the safest pick, but Waller's one of the few that truly has the potential to finish amongst the top two tight ends. Kicking off our top five is San Francisco's George Kittle. Health always feels like a concern for Kittle as well, but he actually suited up in 15 games last season. There are a lot of mouths to feed on this 49ers offense, but Kittle proved to be one of Brock Purdy's favorite targets, and the two connected for seven touchdowns between weeks 15 and 18 alone. Our number four is Dallas Goddard of the Philadelphia Eagles, who was the tight end five in fantasy points per game in 2022. He may not offer as much touchdowns down upside as some of the other guys on this list, just because of Jalen Hurts' rushing usage near the red zone, but still, Goddard is about as reliable and steady as they come for fantasy tight ends. Coming in at number three is the newly minted, highest paid tight end in NFL history, TJ Hawkinson of the Minnesota Vikings. Hawkinson exploded for fantasy upon arriving in Minnesota last season, and he was the seventh most targeted player, not just tight end, in the league from week nine on. His target share might decrease a little bit this year with Jordan Addison coming in, but he'll still be plenty involved on an off offense that should throw the ball a ton. At number two, we have Mark Andrews of the Baltimore Ravens. Andrews scored as the tight end four last season, despite playing in just 15 games, and some of those were with Tyler Huntley under center. With a healthy and paid Lamar Jackson coming back to a reimagined offense, Andrews could challenge for the top spot. Finally, at number one, who would have guessed, it's Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. Kelsey is in the midst of maybe the most dominant stretch for a fantasy tight end ever. He hasn't finished lower than tight end two since 2015, and he'll continue to be the go-to guy for the best quarterback in the league. Even at age 33, Kelsey has shown zero signs of slowing down, and he's the only tight end worth considering in the first round of fantasy drafts. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe to Rotoballer for all the fantasy advice you need to win big in 2023. Thanks again for tuning in, and best of luck in your fantasy drafts.